Hi everybody, so in this lesson we're going to do some simple deductive proofs. Now it says simple there, but these are not always simple. Um, so these are the only formal proofs we have to do at standard level. And they're not that formal, but we do have a method that we need to set out um, correctly. And if you don't do the correct steps, you will lose some, if not all, your marks. So what we do is, well, we have to prove both we have numerical proofs like this one where we just have numbers and algebraic proofs like this where we've got some letters in there and we have an equal sign and this isn't actually a typo this is the identity symbol which I'll get to in a second so what we're going to do is we have a left hand side which we can just call LHS then I'm going to put a line straight down the middle and I have a right hand side and what we effectively have to do is make the left hand side look like the right hand side or the right hand side look like the left hand side it doesn't matter which way you go so the left hand side is two thirds plus one twelfth let me just move that over here two thirds plus one twelfth and the right hand side is three quarters so obviously this is the it's better to choose the left hand side and make it look like the right hand side now I can't you're not allowed to cross this line, let's say. So I can't subtract 3 quarters and make it equal to 0 or anything like that. I can't solve it like, like an equation. I need to make this look like this or the other, other way around. And each step has to, it has to follow the previous step logically and make sense. And that's why it's a proof, a rigorous proof. So 2 thirds plus 1 twelfth. I'm going to make the denominator common so I need a common denominator I'm going to choose twelfths so this is plus twelfth two-thirds in twelfths is eight twelfths plus one twelfth equals nine twelfths nine twelfths which equals three quarters and then at the end I'm going to write left so this is my left hand side you can clearly see my left hand side equals right hand side. I don't, I don't have to keep writing three quarters or anything like that. I'm just going to write left hand side equals right hand side and then I'm going to write QED. QED stands for quad erat demonstrandum which is Latin for which was to be which was to be demonstrated. Quad erat demonstrandum. So just write Q. If ever you do a proof you just write QED. It's like there. It's like saying, there, I've proved it for you. Now, next question. So we're going to do the same for these. Now, the identity symbol. So look, it's very similar to the to the equal sign. But the identity symbol means that the, le that the left hand side equals the right hand side for all values of x. So for example, look, x plus 3 equals 5. That's an equation. And the answer is x equals 2. But I can't write x plus 3 is um, equivalent to 5 because it's not. X, if x was anything other than 2, then these are not the same thing. So that's, that's just the, it's the identity symbol or the equivalence symbol. So it's like saying this is equivalent to this. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to have left hand side, left hand side, and right hand side. Now again, do I want to turn the left one into the right one or the right one into the left one? Well, you could you could complete the square here if you wanted. But again, I think it's definitely easier if I just multiply this out. So this is x minus 2 squared plus 7. If I multiply this out and make it look like that, I think that's definitely easier. So I'm going to make this equal x squared minus 4x plus 4 plus 7. Okay, if you think I've done that too quickly in my head at the side, do it the long way. x minus 2 times x minus 2. This times this, this times this, this times this, this times this. Um, I would highly recommend you just learn how to do that though. a plus b squared is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Anyway, that equals x squared minus 4x plus 4 plus 11, or sorry, plus 4 plus 7 is plus 11, 
which equals the right-hand side. So I can therefore again say left-hand side equals right-hand side, Q, E, D, done. Last one. So when I said, when I said that these weren't always simple, here's a prime perfect example of that. So I'm going to do the same thing, left-hand side, right-hand side. Align straight down. I don't know if I need that much space. Left hand side is one over M. So this is a situation where I am better off. It's going to be easier for me to make to make the right look like the left than to make the left look like the right. So I'm going to make I am going to try and simplify this. So it's one over M plus one plus one over M squared plus M. Okay. These are algebraic fractions. I need to I need a I need a common denominator. So firstly let me just make it look like this. If I factorize the denominator here, I have m into m plus one. Okay, so the not the denominator here is m plus one, and the denominator here is m times m plus one. What denominator can I choose that this goes into and this goes into? Well, the answer is this because m plus 1 goes into this and m times m plus 1 goes into this obviously so this is my denominator if you want to think of that what I've just done numerically imagine I said what's the common denominator between 1 over 5 and 1 over 5 times 7 well the common denominator will be 5 times 7, or 35, because 5 goes into it. Okay, let me get rid of that. So, this is obviously just 1, because it's the exact same thing. But this thing, I've times the denominator by m, so I need to times the numerator by m. 1 times m is m. Okay, getting there. This now equals, the, de the denominator is the same, m times m plus 1. So I can just add the numerators. It's m plus 1. m plus 1. These cancel. The m plus 1s cancel. So this equals um, 1. I can cancel them there if I want. Equals 1 over m. Left hand side equals right hand side. Look, 1 over m, 1 over m. Q, E, D. If you don't write Q, E, D, or left hand side equals right hand side. Yeah, you'll lose a mark because you haven't it you haven't formally proved it. You have to show all these steps. So you go you do a left hand side, right hand side, decide which one you want to turn into the other one. You can't cross the line, as I said before, add and subtract across the line. And at the end, when they're equal, you say left hand side equals right hand side and Q E D.